Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. We're going to have a look at how things have changed since Delphi 2010. And if you are now using Delphi 11 called Alexandra, but Delphi 10 also works the same. So this is just the difference between 2010 and the newer versions of Delphi. The first really minor thing that has changed is that when you click on File and New, this used to just say VCL, but now it says Windows VCL application to create your new form or your new project rather. Now, instead of opening your program by clicking on the DPR in File Explorer, rather now click Open Delphi first, else we get some errors. And click on File and Open, and then navigate to the folder where you want to open the file from. Once you are inside the correct folder, then just double click on the .dpr. Just to show you what happens, I've opened this program incorrectly by going into File Explorer and then double clicking on the DPR. So it looks all looks fine. Um, maybe you have noticed these two run buttons. Now this is the one you want to use and I'll show you why. Um, but if I've opened it like this and I run my program using this debug run program, this happens. Okay, so I can test my program, but when I go out of here, um, gone is my form and I can't get it back. So that's reason number one, why you should not open from the File Explorer DPR, but rather open Delphi first. Maybe you notice that by opening it this way, you are able to use this button here, but I want to show you why we shouldn't use this button. So I'm going to use this button. And when I'm clicking on, I'm just going to put input in here. And this here makes use of a conditional loop. So what's happening at the moment is I made an error in my code on purpose so that I fall into an infinite loop. So now you're going to see it's in an infinite loop. And then all of a sudden it says not responding. Now, the only way to get out of this is by going into your task manager. So now I have to go in here and you have to end the application there because you can see that that stop button does not work. So now I have to go in here and end the task there, which is not ideal. I have now opened the program again, but this time in the correct way by opening Delphi first. And I'm going to use this run button, which is also linked to the F9 key. And I'm going to type in something. I haven't changed the code. It will still fall into an infinite loop. But as you can see, this stop the execution of this code is available for me if this program, you can see I can't move the form. I'm in an infinite loop. I can still now just click on the stop button and it's available for me to use. So for that reason, it's important to open Delphi first. And then click on File Open when you want to open a program and always use this little button here, the Run button, linked to F9 key. You will also see that it's not an issue for me to run my program with any one of these buttons. I won't get that blank screen again. A handy little tool is here at the bottom, you can actually increase and decrease the size of your font that I find very useful. Another handy tool is if you want your um, setup in a certain way and you want to easily access, let's say I've opened it, I've pinned the palette and I've pinned the object inspector and this is the way that I often want to use my computer. Um, I can then go in here and say save desktop. Then I give it a name. So let's just say OB object inspector, OBJ and palette. And I click OK. You will see that it appears now here in a menu and I have set up another one that I call teach because I prefer not to have the palette and the object inspector there. So I can go to this view here or I can then easily go to that view there. Now something that you do need to keep in mind with the new Delphi is when you want to use these arrays, short day names and long month names and those guys, uh, they will give you an error and it will say undeclared identifier. What you need to do, this is how we coded this in Delphi 2010, 
is you have to add format settings dot before these names. Well, these are arrays, so I sometimes refer to them as functions, but they're not really functions, they're arrays. Don't worry, great sense, you can call them functions for now. So just add format settings dot before these, and that will allow them to work. So what I've done now for next year, when you get the code and the memos, you can just uncomment these, take these comments out if you are in Delphi 2010, but I've set up the memo so that it shows with the format settings of everywhere you need it. Another place where you might need it is in past papers. If you do matric final papers, you will see that the data files contain short date format and then it sets the date of your computer for you. Um, to fix those, you just also add format settings dot and that will set the short date format. Some past papers also contain the currency string on its own and it's the same solution. Just add format settings to the front and then you can still use those old papers to practice with. Something else I find very useful is that you can set the location or your default location from where you want to open your programs from. So you would click on tools and then options and then in default folders just go and select here from the three dots go and select the folder that you prefer Delphi should go to when you click on file open or file save all and then click on save. Grade 10s, that's all for you, but grade 11s and 12s, this is important to know. This is especially when you are creating the program yourself. You're going to create it in the new Delphi, Delphi to 11 or 10, and you want to make use of a database or a text file in your pad. So what you need to do first is create the interface and save it as usual. Then you need to run it first. And once you've run it once, it will create a Win32 folder inside of where you saved it. And if you go in there, there'll be a debug folder. And inside of there, that is where you need to place your database and text files. So no longer directly in the folder where you uh, saved the program, but inside of these subfolders. The menu options have also changed for creating a data module. So you need to go to File, New, and then you need to click on Other still. So this was still the same from last year. But in here now, you need to click on Database, and then you click here on Data Module to create your data module, if you are using a data module for your pet. Thank you guys for watching Dandelion Delphi tutorials. I have updated my books for 2023 so that you are able to see all these changes that is required for Delphi 11 and Delphi 10. But please leave some comments if there's anything else you're struggling with with this new versions. Maybe I haven't come across it. Hope to see you soon.